Areas with the most coronavirus cases and deaths linked to smoke last year were often those closest to the fires. The researchers found that across the counties a daily increase in PM2.5 concentrations of 10 micrograms per cubic meter of air and smoke over 28 days correlated with an average 11.7% increase in coronavirus cases and 8.4% increase in COVID-19 deaths. The 24-hour concentration of PM2.5 is generally considered unhealthy for some people when it gets above 35 micrograms per cubic meter of air. In California, Sutter County followed Butte County in tallying the largest percentage of smoke-related coronavirus cases, 16.2% of all infections. Both are north of Sacramento, where bad air from several Sierra fires collected. In Mendocino County, where California's largest fire in history burned, the August complex fires, 14.6% of cases were associated with smoke. Sacramento County, meanwhile, counted the most overall coronavirus cases tied to wildfires in the state, 4,639. Beyond proximity to fires, the researchers said that the same factors resulting in some areas, having more coronavirus cases than others, racial makeup, pre-existing medical conditions and access to health care, for example, explain why certain areas may be more vulnerable to smoke. In some counties, including San Francisco, the number of coronavirus cases tied to smoke was actually less than what it would have been without a smoky fire season, according to the study. The researchers presumed that residents in these areas took extra precautions because of the wildfires, such as staying indoors as much as possible, buying air filters and wearing masks while outside. This could have boosted their level of protection to the virus. The 2020 fire season went down as one of the nation's worst, with a record 4.1 million acres burned in California. Many remember the eerie orange sky that emerged over the Bay Area because of wildfire smoke last September. John Bams, a professor of medicine at UCSF who was not affiliated with the new paper, said the research both helps validate the connection between wildfires and COVID-19 and underscores the need to do something about it. This study is just one more set of evidence that we have to be doubling down on our efforts to reduce catastrophic wildfire risk, he said. In the meantime, BAMS and the study's authors advise people to avoid exposure to smoke as best they can.